What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So some major news dropped on Global today. Physical Android 17 is confirmed to be the next Dokkan Fest coming to Global and he will be here in just two short days, my friends. Now, I can't be the only one that was absolutely blown away by this news because I think most people, or at least everyone that I know, was expecting Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta to be the next Dokkan Fest, and a lot of people were saving their stones for him as well. But now, instead, we have this guy, who honestly wasn't supposed to be here for at least another like, three to six months or something like that. But all that aside, believe me, I am not upset about this at all, because Physical Android 17 is an absolutely amazing unit, and he will be bringing with him two awesome units as well in a new uh, Tech 16 and also an STR Android 21. So what we're doing in this video is what we usually like to do when major banners are about to drop on Global. Number one, go over the unit himself, talk about what he does, what his skills are, all those good things. Number two, talk about what the potential banner on Global will look like based on the JP banner. And last but not least, I also want to talk about this guy's teams, his categories, and specifically a little bit of a deep dive into the Android category that he will be bringing with him to Global as a new category when he drops. So obviously, the whole point of this video is by the end of it, hopefully it will help some of you watching right now decide whether or not you want to summon on this banner or maybe you want to save your stones for a future banner. Either way, if all that sounds good to you, then let's get it started with the unit himself all for survival, physical, Android 17. His leader skill is Android category key plus three, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. He also gives physical units, super physical units, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 90%. So, you know, if maybe if you're missing a few Android units or you just wanna try something different, you can definitely run super physical units on this team with no problems. His super attack is Grand Explode. It causes immense damage and also lowers the enemy's defense and attack. And his passive, Fierce Fight for Survival, gives him 120% attack when performing a super. He also gives all allies key plus three and defense plus 60%. And when HP is below 77%, he gets 40% damage reduction. Now his link skills are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And he fits in three categories, Android, which will be a brand new category on Global, Universe Survival Saga, and Representatives of Universe 7, led by the brand new LR Goku and Frieza, who I have yet, still yet to pull, but that's besides the point. If you guys are lucky enough to have pulled this brand new awesome LR, then you might have a bit more of an incentive to pull for this guy because Physical Android 17 is absolutely, no question, one of the best units to run on that team. Okay, so that's the overview of the unit himself. Like I said, fantastic unit. He will deal some very solid damage for you, but he's also an amazing support unit, giving all allies key plus three and 60% defense. And also when you need it the most, he becomes a great tank. So when your HP is low, he receives 40% reduced damage. So a very well-rounded unit and great in a lot of situations. Moving on to the banner now, this is what it looked like on JP, and I don't expect there to be too many changes when it comes to the global version, honestly. So, of course, we have the new physical Android 17, we have a new Tech 16, a new SDR 21, AGL Tapion, SDR Perfect Cell, AGL Super 17, Tech Perfect Cell, and three Android SRs. At face value, this isn't the most exciting banner. I'd say we've seen worse, we've seen better. This is kind of like an in-between banner where if I were to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it like a solid 7, 7.5, something like that. But the thing with this banner is that there's only one Dokkan Fest exclusive, which is physical Android 17. But Tech 16, and STR21 are both very strong units. And in my opinion, they're actually deserving of being Dokkan Fest exclusives. So if Bandai wanted to give them their own Dokkan Fest, I don't think a lot of people would have complained about that. But instead, they decided to make them non Dokkan Fest units so that they will be on every single banner after this banner comes out and more people will have opportunities to summon for them. So, you know, if you're not as excited about the 17, but you really want the 16 or really want the 21, which I know a lot of people do, then, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to drop a lot of stones on this banner. You know, you don't get them this time around. They will be on every single banner in the future. 
just like Kefla. You know how Kefla is a category lead but is non Dokkan Fest exclusive and is an unfeatured unit in every single banner? Well, these two will be the exact same thing, so if you really want them, you don't have to whale out on this banner. But overall, you know, I don't think it's too bad. AGL Tapion is a category lead, and even though his category is a bit slow, not used a lot, he does have his uses in certain situations. STR Perfect Cell is great on the new Android category, and also it's really gonna extreme STR, just a really strong unit overall. AGL Super 17, you know, people have mixed opinions on him, but I think he is a great tank with, you know, some damage dealing potential tech. Uh, Perfect Cell is a good nuker, I believe. I believe he's the one that nukes. And the uh, SRs, you know, no one cares about those. <laughs> so overall, okay banner. Like I said, there are better ones out there, but definitely worth a couple multis if you really want that 17, especially if you pull the LR Goku and Frieza. But otherwise, you know, it won't hurt you too much to skip it either. Last but not least, let's go over the teams. So of course, he's in three categories, Android, Universe Survival Saga, and Representatives of Universe 7. And we'll go a little bit more in depth into the Android category in a second. But as for Universe Survival Saga, it can be a great team. But unfortunately, Jiren's Dokkan Awakening is still not available on Global yet. And there's no guarantee that it will drop anytime soon. So unless they drop that at the same time as Physical 17, it's not really a consideration here. Now, for representatives of Universe 7, he's absolutely one of the best units to run on that team. He's also one of the best linking partners for LR, Goku, and Frieza. So you definitely have a much more of an incentive, you know, to summon for this guy if you have LR, Goku, and Frieza and you want to run as strong of a representatives of Universe 7 team as possible. So, you know, if you're one of those people that have the LR, then you know, I'd say go for it, at least drop a couple of multis. As for his own category, the Android category, here are some units you can expect to find on there. And I'm just gonna take a quick look to see if there's anything exciting here to point out for you guys. Of course, we have LR Cell, who, you know, there's no guarantee he'll be released anytime soon. It could be in a month, could be in three months, could be in six months. So, you know, not really relevant right now, but definitely something to keep in mind. We also have the LR Androids, who are very outdated, but can still output some decent damage. They can break a million damage. Let's go with that. <laughs> Aside from that, we have you know Super 17, who is a great tank and can output has some damage potential. Um, AGL 17 is good as well. AGL 16, the brand new one, if you're lucky enough to pull him, and of course STR 21. Both of them are amazing on the Androids team. Tech 18, absolute beast. Uh, we have the three perfect cells. We have STR, Tech, and Int who are good in their own respects. STR 17 or STR 18 is good as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I can really see for, you know, the more exciting, better units in this category. But overall, it's not the most exciting category. It's not the strongest category. It can't really compete, at least right now in its current state with, you know, like Batara, SSJ3, Realm of Gods, things like that. But you never know for the future, right? But for the time being, I don't think running this team should be your main priority or your main decision-making factor for whether or not you want to summon for this guy. His most exciting team by far right now on Global is definitely representatives of Universe 7. So if you have the LR Goku and Frieza and you have some other units to run that team, then you definitely want to add this guy to that rotation and he will make a huge difference for your team. But uh, that's pretty much it guys. That was the unit, that was the banner, and also of course the teams um, as well. And hopefully watching this video and watching all of this stuff helps you make a decision about whether or not you want to summon on this banner. My opinion is that, you know, if you really want this guy, drop like 200 to 300 stones at most and call it a day. His banner is really not worth wailing out on. But of course, if you're a pay to play player, they can do whatever the F you want because you have options, right? But if you're a free to play player or, you know, a, like, like a dolphin, someone who doesn't spend a ton of money on this game, then you know, don't go too hard. For me personally, I'm doing like maybe 150, 200 stones at most. I don't even have the LR Goku and Frieza. I just really like this guy and would like to run him on like super physical or some other teams that, you know, I could potentially put together. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, what your opinions are after watching all of this stuff. Are you gonna be summoning for him? And if not, why? What are you saving your stones for? But if you are summoning, how many stones do you plan to drop for him? And that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hope you found it helpful. If you liked the video, as always, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. 
But that's all for me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.